Hey guys, it's Dee. I hope you guys are doing well. I am back with the part four of the estate sale haul. This will be the last video. If you guys are still watching, thanks so much for still sticking with me. Um, I wanted to split them up so that they won't be terribly long. So here's the last one and let's get started. So the first thing I have is a box of jewelry and some jewelry things to fix with. So here are some jump rings. Here are some um, metal magnetic closures. More jewelry pieces. What's this here? I think this is for glasses maybe? Yeah, eyewear chain where you hook them on to the end of the glasses. So new in the package. Here is a leather bear with the leather cord I believe. So that kind of looks handmade. And then we have this cool looking ring. I can't quite tell what it is. Uh, I think it could be an owl just because I see the eyes here. Um, either way, no markings on it. Um, it was just too cool to pass up. So that's that. We have a brooch here. It's sort of like etched, carved look. And these remind me of paper quilling. Not sure if you guys have seen that, but it's a very cool art thing. We just have a die here. And then we have some cufflinks. Where is the matching one? Okay, these match. And they were interesting looking. They were copper, which I haven't seen before. And they had this um, abstract design on there so I thought that was cool and then where was the W so we have this W here and I think that might be onyx so we have that there's this chain and this did have a tag um, what it oh it just says ornament things did it have it does have a marking I wonder if that says yeah it says ornamental things and it's this very cool bee design with um, some enamel. So that was still new with the tag, so I was happy to find that. We have this chain here, and it is, it just screams 70s to me. I'm not sure if that's the era. Um, no markings on this one, but you know, in good used condition. I'm selling most of these, by the way. Um, this is by Swank, and I believe this is a, is this a tie clip, maybe? Um, I have to look at it, I'm not entirely sure. And then there was this one here. I think this is called, let me untangle it. I think this is called Mila Fury, I think. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I think that's what this design is called. And then what's in here? There is this cross. Okay, it's stuck in there for now. So we have that cross in there. And that's what it says on the box. And then the last thing in here is a patriotic pin and it says, God bless America. It is carved USA in the back. One more thing I didn't show you guys. There's this necklace. I want to say this is handmade, but I'm not entirely sure. But there's like kind of like two chains together, and this is what it looks like at the tip of it. All right, we have a random assortment of things here. The first couple of things are these turkeys, and I found these in the garage at the house. I don't think they are terribly older, but I don't have any of any of the older girly turkey candles, so I thought this will do until I find those. And I mean, they're in pretty good condition. Obviously, I'm not going to burn them. They'll just be for display. And then if you guys remember, on a previous haul, I had found the the matching set for this. So here is the sink 
And it also, I think the stool went with the other set. So I will add this to the dollhouse. I just love the details on here. The faucet is a swan and also the handles are swans and there's another swan detail here on the top. There's just um, a random metal scoop. There's this jewelry piece. It's a necklace and it looks like it's new. Never been used, still in the box. And then we have the set of three, I wanna say icicles. Let's see. They kind of remind me of a thermometer, but there's this purple one, there's this green looking one, and then there's this red one. I've never, I mean, if these are ornaments, I've definitely never seen them before. They do look older and there's a note in here, but I don't think it pertains to, oh, maybe it does. Let's see. Oh, so I guess these were from the studio, I'm guessing. I did not turn this over, so I did not realize that it was about the studio. So I guess these were um, made in the studio in Chicago. So that's very cool. And I think it must have meant something to them because they stored it carefully in the box. And then we have this box here with some random things. So let's see, this is... Belique Visitor Center in Ireland. So here's this cute bell. And I guess they hung it on their tree as an ornament. And then we have, let's see, this is the Houston Chronicle building, an ornament. We have this bell here. This wooden figurine this bird that does not want to come out, an apple, and this handmade panda, I think. And, oh, I just lost a sequin. Um, but that was very cool. And the last thing I have here, I think if you guys remember, I said I had more of those plastic beads. And here is an entire bucket of them. So this one looks like it's the same one, just a bunch of them, and it says made in Hong Kong. And I looked these up on eBay, and a couple of the listings said that they were Mardi Gras beads. So I think I'm gonna go with that. It kind of makes sense because there's so many of them. There's some loose here. Um, but this person definitely collect them, collected them and I'm glad that they did because now um, I get to have them. So that is it for this haul guys. Thanks so much for sticking with me and watching the videos. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!